So if you've been following me for a while now, you'll know that I love exploring lesser known destinations and that's exactly why I'm in Spain this weekend. I am exploring Segovia, which is a city that's about an hour away from Madrid, so not very far. But not that many people seem to come here while they're visiting Madrid, so I thought I'd introduce you to it and hopefully change your mind. So, let's go. All right, our first stop is gonna be Segovia Cathedral, and I just quickly wanted to tell you how it came into being because it's a bit of an interesting story. So back in the 16th century, the citizens of Segovia decided to rebel against Charles V, who was about to take the throne, and they lost bitterly. Their old cathedral was burned to the ground and they were defeated. But Charles wasn't stupid and he knew that these ruins were a constant reminder of the failed revolt and so he decided to build them a brand new cathedral that was bigger and better and that's exactly what he did. He actually had the cathedral built in a gothic style which is what the old one was as opposed to renaissance style that was in fashion at the time. So it was kind of a combination of the old and the new. Our next stop is Alcazar, which is one of Spain's most distinctive palaces, and it is so gorgeous that there is a little legend about it regarding Disney. So apparently Walt Disney came here and he loved the castle so much that that's what he modeled his Disney castle on. Now I'm not quite sure if I believe that because I've heard that said about many different castles around the world, but when I look at it, I can totally see it and I'd love it if you commented below to let me know if you see it too or if I'm just being super gullible. If there's one place you have to visit while you're in Segovia, it's definitely the Roman aqueduct, which is basically the symbol of the city. The aqueduct has been here for about 2,000 years and it didn't actually stop functioning, they just stopped using it. So that is pretty impressive, especially when you realize that it wasn't actually built to last. If you look at the aqueduct closely, you'll see that it's kind of haphazardly put together for Roman standards, mind you, not for current standards, because we're just sloppy now. So that tells us that it was meant to be kind of temporary, but yeah, 2,000 years is pretty non-temporary in my book. So very, very impressive. Protect me, please. <laughs> so the Romans were obviously super smart and knowledgeable. As for the people that came after them, however, eh, not so much. So they had to make up all these different stories about how the aqueduct was built because they couldn't possibly fathom that it was built by people. So this one particular story talks about a beautiful young girl and the devil, as most medieval stories seem to for whatever reason. But this young girl had the task of fetching water for the village or city, whatever it was back then, and she just couldn't be bothered because it was a lot of effort and she said I would sell my soul if somebody found a way to help me with this so the devil appeared and he said I can do that and the devil had one condition that if he manages to build this aqueduct overnight she will have to give her soul to him and also become his wife but the girl wasn't stupid so she decided to start complimenting his strength and his muscles and while he was showing off the day actually started and he missed the deadline so she kept her soul and Segovia got his aqueduct which is pretty cool also definitely not true so don't listen to everything you hear kids but it's a nice story because of the devil <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to a restaurant called La Huerta de San Lorenzo and I am really excited to go there for one reason and one reason only and that reason is it is a vegetarian restaurant. I don't know if any of you watching are vegetarian but if you are and you've been to Spain you probably know that it's a bit of a struggle and that's definitely an understatement. Basically what happens to me most of the time is they either offer me chicken and fish and tell me it's not really meat or they just tell me oh, there's only a little bit, just un poquito of fish, which, yeah. By the way, I completely understand that Spain hasn't quite embraced vegetarian culture. It's definitely not something I would judge them for, and I'm a visitor in their country, but it is a little hard to find stuff to eat sometimes, so this is gonna be just such a highlight for me. Welcome to Segovia. I will say it is one of the most amazing cities in Spain because of the so old origin. We are talking about a city uh, developed by the people living here before the arrival of the Romans. But the Romans uh, gave uh, us uh, one of the best uh, monuments uh, now here in uh, Segovia in the whole world. Our aqueduct is the best because the conservation is so good and uh, because it's one of the biggest uh, that we have. It's the symbol of the city. 
between uh, the Romans and the medieval times. We were empty for a while, but anyway, some of the Muslims uh, used to live here, and also they leave uh, their traces and their uh, steps uh, in the city. And then, for sure, the reconquest and the, the, the develop of the city during the medieval times. It was amazing because that allowed us uh, to develop a lot of uh, Romanesque and Gothic construction. The cathedral is an amazing cathedral, the last construction done in Gothic style. And uh, for sure, another symbol of the city, the other side, the castle, the Alcazar, is uh, really impressive. I think that uh, Walt Disney used it uh, to inspire, uh, to make uh, the princess uh, castle. It's one of the most uh, beautiful construction in Spain. It's just the castle of the takes. Thank you so much. This was really fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed Segovia. Thank you very much for coming. Adios. For you. Ta -ta, adios. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye.